Night Reapers. The Night Reapers were a former Loyalist Space Marine chapter that fell to the corruption of the ruinous powers and were eventually declared excommunicate traitorous becoming a renegade chapter of Chaos Space Marines. The Night Reapers chapter was eventually hunted down by the combined Imperial forces of the Grey Knights, Red Templars and Minotaur Space Marines aboard the ancient pre-human Space Hulk designated the Perrin Cross. Chapter History the Night Reapers' path to corruption began when they were condemned to crusade on the fringes of the Lana Rifts region following their actions during the abortive defense of Salvation Gamma in the midst of the Constantinus iconoclasm. The crime had been dereliction of duty, for when confronted by a massive counterattack by a dozen Chaos war bands drawn to the iconoclasms revealed, alongside an unknown number of degenerate mutant hordes drawn from the edge worlds of the sector. The Night Reapers had abandoned the Shrine world as both effectively indefensible and of negligible strategic worth. Rather than allowing the world to fall, the Night Reapers turned their own weapons on the Basilica cities and granted the pilgrims and refugees who had sought harbour there a merciful end. The rage of the Ecclesiarchy over this loss was boundless and ensured the Night Reapers chapters censure by the High Lords of Terror. Shorn of their fortress monastery and chapter homeworld and condemned to the perilous and thankless task of policing the outer reaches of the Lana Rifts, the Night Reapers bore the punishment with grim impassivity and obedience but little contrition, or at least appeared to. Within a standard decade, however, imperial contact with the chapter, which had long carried a reputation for ruthless efficiency, independence and technical aptitude, grew and towardly infrequent. Official contact ceased and such second-hand reports of them that could be gleaned pointed towards steadily increasing deviation from Codex Astartes' doctrine, tactics and equipment in their ranks. In 989 M41, some six standard years after the last Imperial contact, the Night Reapers were declared excommunicate traitorous after a forensic examination of wreckage found in the Gaiathis belt provided incontrovertible evidence of the chapter's direct responsibility for the destruction of the rogue trader fleet of Baron Strossuen. This followed a series of other raids and incidents where the involvement of the now renegade chapter had been suspected, but firm enough evidence could not be found to blame them, while several imperial expeditions to find the Night Reapers had disappeared without a trace. The first space marines to respond to the call to find and punish the Night Reapers comprised a four-company strong force of the Avenging Sons chapter who, alongside Imperial Navy support, set out into the rifts in search of the renegade chapter. Responding to a distress call from the Imperial outpost on Svarga Wells, the Night Reapers ambushed the Avenging Sons and forced them into a humiliating retreat, capturing one of the strike cruisers, wrecking a second and badly mauling their would-be destroyers. The debacle of the Avenging Sun's defeat, which they blamed on the Night Reaper's use of unknown warp flame weapons that bypassed the starship's void shields, moved the High Lords into direct action and two full chapters of Space Marines, the Red Templars and the Minotaurs. Alongside considerable local support from the fleets and defense forces of neighboring sectors, were directly tasked with the destruction of the Night Reapers. This was to be done before the threat could grow further, lest they become a beacon to other renegades and malcontents in an already troubled region. The harrowing of the Night Reapers was to take a further three standard years of running battles to reach its fruition and it was a campaign in which, of the Imperial chapters, the Red Templars, experts as they were in search and destroy and pursuit operations were to be the hounds and the minotaurs with the brute strength and aggression would be the hunter ready to deal the death blow. The Night Reapers fought with savage resistance across a dozen star systems and in a score of ship-to-ship -ship battles as they were driven before the Imperials bloodying their pursuers at every turn. 
It soon transpired that the Night Reapers, having thrown off the rule of the Emperor, had sought advantage in innovation. The Tech Marines adapting Zeno's weapons technology originating with the cursed and near-extinct Helgramite race to their own ends and their masters striking pacts with the servants of the archenemy to further the cause. For this, the Night Reapers gained the strength to resist the Imperial onslaught for a time. But their relentless foes eventually cornered the bulk of the surviving Night Reapers at the Perrin Cross, a massive derelict pre-human space wreck large enough to have accrued its own thin atmosphere and parasitic life over the long ages. Here the Night Reapers were tunneling into the ancient artificial core of the wreck kilometers deep, in search of a weapon that they believed would be sufficient to rid themselves of the Imperial forces who now encircled and besieged them. Events, as they transpired at the bitter point of the siege remain shrouded in confusion, but what is known is that at the height of the Minotaur's attack, the Grey Knights strike cruiser Equinox Blade and a force of Grey Knights, under the command of Brother Captain Danagus arrived in orbit around the Perrin Cross. Entering the fire zone, they ordered the Imperial forces to concede to their authority and pull back from the assault. The Minotaurs, however, were not included in this course. The retreat of the Loyalist forces paved the way for Brother Captain Danicus of the Grey Knights to conduct a teleport assault into the depths of the Perrin Cross as the battle raged on. What then transpired remains unknown, but sometime shortly afterwards the Perrin Cross structure broke up into burning fragments, riven by a series of gigaton-level explosions. The demise of the Perrin Cross led to the complete loss of the Grey Knight's strike force and a substantial, but an undefined number of Minotaur space marines, along with heavy damage to the Equinox Blade and the death of all those left on board. Asterian Moloch, the stern chapter master of the Minotaurs, is known to have survived the incident as he was once again witnessed commanding his chapter in battle some solar months later, while the Grey Knight Lords of Titan and the Ordo Malleus have remained curiously silent over their losses. As for the Night Reapers chapter, it is believed that the fiery death of the Perrin Cross served as the funeral pyre for this once loyal chapter. Whatever profane secrets surrounded them are believed to have been buried there, as well. Notable Campaigns The Siege of Lacadamon in the 953rd year of the 33th millennium, the Sons of Gilliman, alongside several Tekken armored regiments, are besieged in the defense of the hive world of Lacadamon by the hordes of the Orc war boss Vorgad Bloodfang. Despite vastly overwhelming odds, the chapter successfully holds the planet's defense for three standard years until the siege is broken by the combined forces of the Night Reapers and War Bearers chapters. Fighting alongside a major task force from Battlefleet Tempestus to break the orbital blockade that encircles the beleaguered world. The Constantinus iconoclasm in the 981st year of the 41st millennium, the Adeptus Astartes Night Reapers are heavily censored after they abandon the shrine world of Salvation Gamma to the massed chaos space marine and mutant forces closing in upon it. Turning the guns of the gathered war fleet on the planet in order to grant the population what they consider a merciful end. The Ecclesiarchy lodges such vociferous objections with the Senatorum Imperialis that the Night Reapers are declared to have committed a gross dereliction of duty and, as punishment, are consigned to duty along the outer fringes of the Lana Rifts. Within a decade, contact with the chapter is almost entirely lost. The Perrin Cross incident in the 989th year of the 41st millennium, having been conclusively linked to the destruction of the fleet of the rogue trader Baron Strassuen, the Night Reapers chapter is declared excommunicate traitorous. The Minotaurs and Red Templars chapters are dispatched to track them down in the depths of the Lana Rifts and bring them to the Empress Justice. The harrowing of the Night Reapers drags on for three standard years, with evidence of the renegades harnessing numerous forms of Zeno's technology amassing throughout. At length, the Night Reapers are cornered on board a vast pre-human void construct known as the Perrin Cross as they attempt to mine some unknown but no doubt blasphemously potent weapon from its core. 
In the final assault, a Grey Knight strike force arrives and boards the Perrin Cross, but events take a drastic turn as the construct, the entire Grey Knight's force and a large number of Minotaur's squads are consumed together in atomic fire. It is assumed that the Night Reaper's chapter is no more, though Imperial forces stationed along the Lana Rift remain vigilant for signs that any of the fallen brethren survived the Perrin Cross incident. The Reapers at bay in the 999 year of the 41st millennium, a reclamation fleet of the renegade Night Reapers chapter, thought destroyed earlier in history, is cornered by Inquisitor Seleno of the Ordo Malleus in the bleak expanse of the Caligulan Nebula. With a full company of the Red Hunters chapter at his command, spearheaded by the ancient fell blade Telum Veriatatis, Seleno forces a confrontation on one of the many barren worlds found in the nebula and is met by the warp-tainted armored vehicles of the Night Reapers. As the Telum Veriatatis duels with the demon Touch Typhon heavy siege tank Nidhogga amid a plain strewn with the broken remains of battle tanks, Seleno is slammed by an errant shell in the Red Hunter's retreat, carving oaths of vengeance into the armoured flanks of Telum Veritatis. Chapter Appearance Chapter Colours the Night Reaper's appearance is not listed in current Imperial records, but it is known that they utilized black, gold and purple colors on the battleplate and vehicles. Chapter Badge The Night Reaper's chapter badge was a large, unidentified golden animal skull, centered on a purple circlet in front of a pair of crossed golden colored scythes. 